people. Shalom, Ka Halal, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwaf, I'll be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratiza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh. Yahweh Shai has commanded. And um, this lesson is going to be entitled, Are You Prepared for What Comes Next? Okay, are you prepared for what comes next? Meaning prophecy. What comes next prophecy-wise? Because at the end of the day, the universe is moving to the tune of prophecy. Because we know at the end of the day, the, the, spoken, the spoken written of the word, the spoken written word of the Lord is faithful and true. Okay, and we know he's going to do all his pleasure and his, and his counsel is going to stand. So, are you pre prepared? Are you prepared for what comes next? So uh, I found this article here on uh, Zero Zero Hedge News. Okay, uh, on Zero Hedge. Okay, ZeroHedge.com. Okay, and um, I'm gonna read a bit of the article and get some precepts and law with them by the end of this lesson. You'll be edified. Okay, but let me put a quick disclaimer out there. Okay, uh, my disclaimer would be the Fair Use Act, Copyright Act of 1976, okay, under Section 107, okay, uh, Fair Use, okay, uh, it gives way for uh, commentary, okay, criticism and things of that nature, all right, um, my channel is not monetized, so uh, I'm not gaining anything from this, all right, I don't have the right to this article, all right, or I don't own the article. This is just for educational purposes. So my disclaimer would be the Copyright Act of 1976, which gives way for fair use. Fair use, okay, fair use. All right, so um, with that being said, you see the title of the, art of the article, right? It says, Chaos. How prepared are you to deal with what happens next? Now, you know, the scriptures is, is, is a lot of prophecies Okay, so I'll say a few more, a few more big ones, major ones to come. Okay, you got um, uproars of the people, which we've been seeing that. Okay, earthquakes in diverse places, we've been seeing that. All right, um, pestilences uh, two years ago, you know what happened in 2020. Okay, and more to come because it speaks about these things. Okay, it says pestilences with, with, with an S, plural. So more to come. Okay, um, uh, second Ezra is the 15th chapter and second, and second Ezra is the 16th chapter where it speaks about um, uh, 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 invading one another's uh, 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 homes man okay sedition among men all of these things is written in the scripture as future prophecies okay uh, you have the what's going to be the implementation of the, the MLTB the CHIP okay that's another major one okay you have uh, World War 3 okay uh, we're seeing all the signs and, uh, and the, the lead up to World War III because that's another prophecy that must come to pass, okay? You have the return of our Lord, okay? While these nations are going to be battling, going at it, okay? In the valley of Yahweh Shapat, okay? Yahweh's judgment, okay? Uh, the valley uh, of decision, okay? Mountain of troops, Armageddon, all right? Um, yeah, during that time, at some point, all right, the Lord is going to return, all right? But this article, so I was just giving you some of the prophecies that's still, uh, 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 that's still to come, okay? But we in those times. This article says, uh, chaos, how prepared are you to deal with what happens next, okay? So it says, um, 
it says, as a matter of fact, let me interject a quick scripture. All right. Straight to the point. Ecclesiastes 12 and 3 says, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, meaning the jobs. We're in a time now where, you know, people are losing their jobs, you know, and you know when people can't get work, you know, they have a different mindset. And you know, the mindset is when people don't have nothing else to lose, they're losing. It says, uh, and those that look out of the windows be dark and right, meaning the future, okay? And when I read that article, it mentioned something about the future. It says, those that look out of the windows be darkened, meaning the future look grim. It says, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, okay? We saw, we saw a bit of that in 2020. It says, and he shall rise up at the voice of a bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low, okay? So now let's go to the article. It says, um, it says, the Oxford Dictionary defines chaos as complete disorder and confusion. You see, disorder meaning no order. People are going to be out of order, okay? Hard to tame. You ain't going to be able to tame people so easy in that, in that day and that time. The, 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 people, the scripture speaks about they shall not regard authority in that day. All right? It says, um, the Oxford Dictionary defines chaos as complete disorder and confusion. Sadly, for most Americans, we don't need an Oxford Dictionary to define chaos. All we need to do is turn on the television, scroll through social media, and look out the window. Now, did not, did not we just read that just now in Ecclesiastes? Those that look through the windows be darkened. See, the future look grim. Because we 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 in the la we in the last days, the scripture tell you, Second uh, 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 Timothy three and verse one, and this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, and these are the times that we in perilous means dangerous. We in dangerous times, man. It says, um, <clears throat> it says, given everything that is going on, it is absolutely natural to be worried about the future. See that word future. You see, they worry the people worried about the future. If you're just looking, those that look out of the window, be darkened. You're coming into some dark times, man. All right? It says, the good news is that the, the antidote to current climate of, of, of chaos, worry, and fear is self-reliance. Well, I don't agree with that. Your reliance should be, your, your, your reliance should be upon Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Let me get a, 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 a quick precept see this is why this is why you gotta uh use discernment when you're reading these articles you got to be able to uh uh eat the the the, 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 the meat and, and spit out the bones so to speak you got to be able to discern okay you could be self-reliant in somewhat ways meaning to use wisdom which the wisdom was given to you from above every good gift come from above right but we have to rely on yahweh bahashim yahweh shai so let's get our proverbs chapter uh uh 18 and verse 10 it says the name of yahweh is a strong tower the righteous run into it and are safe see so this is who we're relying on yahweh bahashim yahweh shai the name of yahweh is a strong tower the righteous run into it and it's safe Another one that comes to mind real quick is uh, Psalms. Psalms 124. Psalms 124. Uh, and verse 8. Right? It says, Our help is in the name of Yahweh, who made heaven and earth. See? Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So, that's where our reliance is. If you're in the spirit... Okay, that's 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 where you want to you want to rely on your how about Shimei Shai. The scripture said to cast your burdens upon the Lord. Okay, all right. So uh, reading on it says, be prepared. It says now, more it said be prepared now more than forever. Americans need to be prepared. We all know how important it is to stockpile food, water, guns, ammo, and supplies. Be but there is. But there is one item every single prep, prepper should have, a medical emergency kit. Okay, but this, these are people who believe in prepping. 
Okay? We believe that Yahweh Bashim El Shai is, is going to guide his, his people. Okay? And the scriptures tell you how the uh, 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 the Lord is going to take care of his people. The scripture that comes to mind. And this is why the scriptures say the just shall live by faith. Okay? This is why the scripture says the just shall live by faith. All right? Why I think a lot of those people took the, took, took, took the jump shot? Why? Because they didn't, they didn't exercise faith. They didn't exhibit their faith. All right? All right? You have to know that the Lord, he feeds the animals. He feeds his creatures. He feeds us. Okay? You have to know that if, if he's dealing with you, he's going to continue to do so. Okay? But this is Isaiah. All right, Isaiah uh, 65 and verse uh, verse 13. It says, Therefore thus said the Lord power, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Okay, the, you who prepping and seeking to save your life. The scripture says, He that seeketh to save his life shall lose it, but he that lose it for, for the Lord's sake, for Yahweh shall his sake, shall find it. Roughly paraphrasing it. It says, Therefore thus said the Lord Paul, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Okay, so these people who think that they're prepping, you're just prepping for somebody else to come and get it, man. Yeah, you might go so far with it, but it's no guarantee that you're going to be the person to actually <laughs> uh, enjoy the full benefits of all of that because it's going to be chaos. Okay, it's gonna be invading. People are gonna be invading one another. That's the scriptures tell you that. Uh, verse fourteen says, "Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vex for vexation of spirit." You see that? So, going back to the article, reading on. All right, it says, "Be prepared for a pandemic or everyday emergency." Now, the scriptures tell you speaks about pestilences when you read. Uh, Matthew the 24th chapter around about the uh around about the uh uh sixth verse where it speaks about pestilences. Let's get it real quick. I'm starting to run out of time here, but Lord willing I can get through this video. Um get you some, some more of the article, some more precepts and we can get ready to close it out. But um Matthew chapter 24 uh verse, I gotta get straight to the point, verse 7 for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, alright and there shall be famines and pestilences, okay, with an S, plural, more than one and earthquakes in diverse places verse 8, the Lord said, and all these are the beginning of sorrows, so these are just the beginning of sorrows, so you're gonna have more pestilences, okay you're gonna have these things okay, so let's go back to, to the article the, the thing is to turn to the Lord and repent that you might have a hedge of protection, a covering. It says, The last few years have highlighted some of the most frightening challenges to almost every single sector uh, under, underpinning our society. No sector of American society has been more degraded than the one that is arguably the most important, our health system, healthcare system. It says, The, uh, the Royal Crown 19, dangerously experimental, you see the word, the V word uh, says shortages, this thing here, the X, the DX, <laughs> and now and now the flying animal flu. Trust in our healthcare system has been decimated by the globalists, it says. It says, uh, while the big ticket challenges like Royal Crown 19 and the flying animal flu grab a lot of the, of the media headlines, the truth is that Medical emergencies are about much more than pandemics and threats from the globalists. Okay, so this is not medical advice. I'm just reading the news here. It's an article. So this is not medical advice. It says, uh, step throat, uh, uh, pneumonia, uh, sinus infections, tick bites. Uh, this part here. I'm going to skip past that part. Let me see if any more. It's, it says... It says, it is your personal responsibility to be prepared. Having access, yeah, well, that's to be prepared is, is, is checking in with the Lord, doing do, doing the will of the Lord, obeying his word, okay? It, that's your, that's the way you prepare. You prepare by uh, adhering to the word of the Lord, uh, repenting and turning on to him with your whole heart. That's how you prepare, because the Lord is going to, he's going to take care of your needs, man. 
You just have to have faith. You have to trust and believe. It says having access to self-saving medications is a God-given right for every American. Now exercising that right is more important than ever. Uh, I'm going to jump down from that. This this varying off into some other different things. Yeah, I think I think the point is made of that. I don't think I gotta read. Speaking of uh hope I would never need it, uh peace of mind. But the point of this article was was from the top part of it from the, with the chaos. Okay? Because that's what's gonna come, man. Alright, I'm gonna get uh second as was fifteen. And second, as you're 16, because that's what the article really was going into uh, uh, chaos. Okay, so um, let me get these a uh, little bit, both of these chapters, real quick, and then we could close out the lesson. Okay, so yeah, man, uh, are you prepared for what happens next? Okay, because these are the things; these these are the prophecies that that's what's gonna come uh, 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 manifest itself to the earth because the spoken word of the Lord, man, is faithful and true. Okay, so you've been warned. This is Second Ezra chapter 15, starting at verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Okay, it says, For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. See, this is a future prophecy. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. And that's the modern day gun is the sword. Okay, it says, um, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, see, this is what's going to be going on, right? They shall not regard their kings nor princes, see? This is going to be the mindset of the people in these end times, okay? It says, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So it's going to be a whole different, a whole different uh, 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 time zone, man. The people, um, all right, it, it, they pure disorder, Okay? All right, that's what it's gonna be. That's what's gonna be going on, man. It says, um, uh, it says, uh, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, okay, because you're gonna have things like martial law, these kind of things, man, going on. You see, it says, uh, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, all right. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. It says, and men shall be afraid. So if men shall be afraid, what do you think about you women? Hey, some serious time is coming to the earth, man. The scripture speaks about Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Okay. Um, reading on verse uh, 19, it says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You see, these are the, these are the times that, that are upon us, man, fastly approaching, man. So it will behoove you to seek the Lord, okay? Um, at the end of the day, because ain't no peace coming, man. Scriptures say when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as, as a woman in travail with child, and they shall not escape, okay? First... Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3. Okay? So, uh, Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 25 says, Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. So, all right, remember the men of the Lord, the prophets have been letting you know this, man. Uh, the scriptures tell you how when these things come up, come to pass, then shall they know that a prophet had been among you. All right, so you're being warning. The Lord said to give you warning, man. Son of man have made thee a watchman. All right, Ezekiel 3 and uh, 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 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So this is your warning, man. Okay? These are the times that we're coming into. I'm going to get a little bit more. I'm going to jump over the verse. I'm going to jump over the the, uh, the 16th chapter. Second Ezra chapter 16. All right? Because these times are coming, man. And I'm going to jump in here at the 68th verse. It says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. All right? This is what's going to be going on, man. It says, I'm doing, I'm doing this part of the lesson here in, in, in transit. Man, there's some big bumps in the road. It says, um, uh, it says, it says, and they shall take away certain of you 
and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols, man. That's going into that sea hip, man. All right. A lot of people going to be uh, 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 taken into them those 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 camps, man. Okay. Um. It says uh. It says, and feed you, being idle, with things offered unto idols. Okay? And if you if you bow, if you bow or bend the knee, bend the knee to the image of Baal, all right, the Lord said you're gonna destroy you, man. Alright? Read on it says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and reproach and trodden under foot. So yeah. It, you you gonna be you gonna be through, man. If 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 you don't stand firm, okay. If you don't stand firm in these times, you are gonna be through, man. The only way you are gonna stand firm, man, is you are gonna need your heart by Shimei Shai, okay. Because the scriptures tell you clearly, man. Because Revelation three and ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. So the Lord got to put this the spirit on you to endure, man. All right, this is why we tell you to repent and turn back because some serious dark times is coming to the earth, man. The scriptures tell you in uh, Matthew, the, uh, the what's that, the 20, it's like in Luke, Luke chapter 21, where it speaks about uh, man's heart failing them for the things that's coming on the earth. It's going to be a dreadful time on the earth, man. Okay, it says, For they shall be in every place and in the next cities. It's like here, for there shall be in every place. And in the next cities, a great insurrection upon they, upon those that fear the Lord. Okay, verse seventy-one it says, "They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord." You see, so any day now, you could have an event, all right, and everything just go haywire, man. You just have chaos, because the Scripture speaks about uproars of the people, man. Okay, look what's been going on in Haiti. Look what's going on in Bangladesh. All right? And, and in all different parts of the earth, man. You got wars going on in different parts of the earth. So, yeah. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you got to take heed to the word. All right? Or not. But just know that you ain't going to have that covering, man. If, you, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not, uh, one of the, uh, 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 of the elect, man. I pray that I'm of that number and I do pray for like minded brothers. All right? Sisters that believe on this truth and believe on the names of your heart by Shimei Oshai. It says, verse uh, 72. It says, For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. See? This is what's coming. Then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So, just like it says in Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7, you know? The Lord say he, he gonna he gonna save them out of it, man, meaning the elect. Alright, so to, to, I don't matter fact, let me get that and read that real quick, straight to the point, because I'm getting ready to close the lesson. Let me go straight to the point, Jeremiah chapter uh Alright, because it tells you the Lord say He's gonna save his elect, man. Alright? Um uh, This is the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 30, we'll close with this. Because this is a, 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 a time like never before that's coming to the earth. All right? Total chaos, man. All right? Disorder, as the, art, the article was telling you. All right? This is um, well, this is going to be like a time never before. This particular prophecy. Jacob's trouble, man. To the point you're going to need divine intervention. I'm going to get straight to the point. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. The he is speaking of the elect, that remnant whom the Lord say uh, uh, he have predestinated before the foundation of the world, man. Okay, so this is going to be a, a time of trouble such as the earth have never seen as nothing that you could think of in your past life, in, 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 in past times. Okay, so lucky. that's what I want to say, past times. Okay, so yeah, with that. I'm going to end the lesson there, Lord willing, you were edified. Okay, repent, turn to the Lord. Okay, all right, and I'm, I'm going to end it there. Shalom.